Back at headquarters, the wildlife troopers receive another report of a dead moose, this one floating in a lake. Uh, the moose is not in an area where you normally find a dead moose, which is usually in shallow water. On the side of the lake, it's actually floating in deep water, uh, which gives us concern that this moose has probably been shot. It was probably shot illegally. It was probably shot while it was swimming. Killing a moose while it's swimming is illegal. Lieutenant Dalkey sends Sergeant Quist to check it out. So on our way to uh, to the west fork of the Little Delta, we're going to fly by uh, Blair Lakes, where I had a report of a dead moose uh, floating in the lake. We'll swing by there and see if it's floated into shore, and if so, we'll uh, stop and take a look at it, try and determine it's, uh, how it died. My guess is that it uh, died from what we call lead poisoning, a bullet. But we'll find out if we can. Well, I can already see the moose we're looking for. That little dot on the lake. The crime of wanton waste comes with a mandatory jail sentence and isn't something the wildlife troopers take lightly. Now, wasting a big game animal is, uh, is a big deal and it's something that bothers me both from a, a legal standpoint and from you know just a personal standpoint. That's what my family eats. We use, utilize the resource and it's just uh, it goes every, against everything that we stand for when somebody just shoots one and, and leaves it kind of a popular destination. So somebody saw something, somebody either saw an airplane that was parked there, or once we have names, we can start talking to the hunters, find out what kind of rifles they shoot, and start putting things together from there. Unfortunately, the dead moose is still a ways off the shore, and without a float plane, there's nothing Quist can do at this point, except look. He returns to Fairbanks and informs Lieutenant Dalkey. With little to go on, Dalkey knows cases like these can take months to unravel. So we'll put the word out. We'll see if we can find out who's out in that area or who may have seen something out there, possibly develop some leads on an airplane or persons in the area, and then we'll go from there. That slug could make a world of difference down the road when we identify a possible suspect, because we can match it up and I'll call it a moose aside, um, we can match it up from that moose aside to the person that actually pulled the trigger.